Hello, everyone. How are you doing? It's Dave Bondi. We are keeping it real, and we are talking about the way the CDC counts COVID-19 cases. This is something that I have been looking into for the past year and a half, actually. And now the CDC is changing, and certain states are changing the way that they count uh, cases and how they differentiate them. It's very interesting, and we're going to get into that uh, just now, and we're going to tell you exactly what's going on. So what I want you to do is, is go ahead and click the subscribe button in this YouTube video. Click that subscribe button, and you can learn more about what's going on. But I want to show you an article right now, and this is pretty interesting. I'm going to bring it up here. I'm going to show you this. Some states are reconsidering how they count COVID hospitalizations. So let's get into this. What does this mean? A new practice for reporting COVID-19 hospitalizations in Massachusetts may be adopted in other parts of the country. Starting Monday, the state will begin differentiating between patients who are admitted to the hospital for COVID-19 and those who are admitted for another condition and later test positive for the virus. New York's governor last week said it showed 43% of people in New York hospitals on January 6th who tested positive for the virus were originally there to be treated for something else. So the people go into the hospital, they don't have COVID, and then they get COVID while they're there. So the stats, the stats in New York are going to start to change, and you're going to see different numbers now. So I want to know what you think. The state you're in, I'm in Michigan right now, and in Michigan, they don't make a difference uh, when it comes to for co from COVID or with COVID. They just say COVID. They don't break it down. But the director of the CDC, for the first time on Sunday, admitted, and let's look at this video right here. I'm going to pull it up from Twitter, ABC News. Uh, we're going to listen to it if we can. I can bring this up. She actually talked about how comorbidities have a factor. If you're obese, if you have diabetes, if you have cancer, if you have an underlying condition, here's what she had to say. Let me see if this audio works. The overwhelming number of deaths, over 75 percent, occurred in people who had at least four comorbidities. So really, these are people who were unwell to begin with. The overwhelming number of deaths, over 75 percent, occurred in people who had at least four comorbidities. So really, these are people who were unwell to begin with. The so let me stop that right now, actually. Uh, OK, I stopped that. That's interesting. So I published this story about a year ago, maybe more than a year ago, actually, saying that the majority of people who have COVID have other comorbidities. They ha they're they obese. They have cancer. They have um, asthma. They may have breathing problems. They may have something else. Well, now the CDC director is admitting it, and she is giving some numbers. She said 75% of the cases are with comorbidities. Now, this is something that in the state of Michigan, they have not tracked. This is very interesting. In the state of Michigan, they are not tracking these numbers. And I've done numerous stories asking why the state of Michigan is not breaking down comorbidities. And they blame other people. They blame the county. They blame the hospitals. And then the hospitals in the county are blaming the state. So it's one big blame session uh, when it comes to that in the state of Michigan as to why they are not counting from COVID and with COVID. There's a difference. If you are, well, there, there's the extreme case that if you are shot in the leg and you go to the hospital and you have COVID, you are ruled to be a COVID patient in the state of Michigan. Um, some states don't do it that way. Some states say that you are a gunshot patient first and then you are you have COVID, with COVID. So you didn't die, let's say, from COVID. You may have died from the gunshot wound, but you also had COVID. That's the difference that in Michigan, they don't make that difference. And I'm going to continue to push and find out why Michigan is not doing this and to see if they have any updates on this. And I have emailed the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services to try to find out why they aren't breaking it down and also what they're saying about what's happening in New York now 
about the hospitals in this article right here about how some states are now reconsidering how they count COVID hospitalizations. It's really interesting because during the entire pandemic, this was not done. They did not change the way they counted them. So why is this happening now? My job as a journalist, um, my job is not to offer an opinion. And I just wanted to bring this. You can find this story at midmichigannow.com. I have the link in this YouTube video where you can learn more about it. So I'm going to let all of you go. Thank you very much for watching. My job is just to let you know what's going on and inform you. Have a good day, everyone.